Hi, I'm going to show you how to draw a principal ray diagram for a convex mirror. So a convex mirror looks like this, assuming that the object is over here somewhere. And then the focal point would be behind the mirror. So here's our focal point, And it would be halfway between the center of this circle and the surface of the mirror. Okay. And so let's just uh, put an object in front of that mirror and we'll do the principal ray diagram for that. So I like people most of the time. So I'm going to draw a person. Here's our person. And so then we draw a parallel ray. So parallel ray parallel to the this line connecting the focal point and the uh, center of the sphere. So I draw parallel to that. and then I draw a ray as if it came from the focal point on the inside of the mirror. Okay, so parallel rays leave the mirror as if they came from the focal point. So that's our P ray. And then the F ray is the reverse of that. So I take the, I go towards the focal point and then leave parallel. So towards the focal point until it hits the mirror. So I line up this focal point in the top of the person's head and one of the rays that comes out of the person's head will hit the mirror in this direction. So we're just doing representative rays uh, amongst the infinite number of possibilities and so then this one will hit the mirror and it will do the opposite of what the P ray did. It will leave parallel to that axis. So something like that. Now I can draw those as far as I want they're never going to intersect. So what you do when the outgoing rays don't intersect, you make uh, work your way backwards to where those outgoing rays appear to have originated from. So I draw dotted lines going backwards from this outgoing ray, and I draw dotted lines going backwards from this outgoing ray. And then I have triangulated the location of the image, at least for the top of the person's head, which would be right here, and then extrapolating to the rest of the person's body, I would have something like this. So we get a, get a smaller image. So this would be uh, considered a virtual image because I drew dotted lines back to where the image appeared to, uh, appeared to be, not where the light rays actually went. And it would be upright, and it looks like it's about you know half the size or so, so we can say and uh, smaller or demagnified, however you want to put it, uh, and that's our image. Okay, so uh, that's it. And most of your uh, when you have a convex mirror, pretty much your uh, your diagrams will will, uh, will all look roughly like this. You should get uh, this this result. You know, we move back a little bit or closer a little bit and things change in subtle ways but there aren't any huge changes in the behavior with a uh, with a convex mirror. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.